So, hello, my name is Krista Wall and I'm a certification product manager for Microsoft Learning. I work on our developer and SQL Server certs. About uh, two months ago, in the middle of April, we announced some changes to the Microsoft certification program. The primary uh, reason for making those changes to the certification program was to increase the relevance and the rigor of our certifications. And I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about how we increase the rigor. So, uh, we approached the problem of increasing the rigor of our certifications in four different ways all the way throughout the development process. So in design, development, delivery, and defense, as we like to talk about it. In terms of design, we increased the, what we really expect from a candidate when we are defining who the candidate who we expect a, 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 is going to pursue a certification. So we really raised the bar for the audience for the certifications. We're expecting more from people. And in terms of the development of the exams themselves, we did a lot of different things to make them more challenging. And the great thing about making the exams more challenging is that when you actually achieve that certification, when you go in and you have that feeling of having really been challenged during that exam, it really feel, feels a lot more meaningful when you pass than if it were really easy. So some of the things that we've done with the development of our exams is we are including some more difficult objectives than we might have in the past. So things that, uh, in, in keeping with raising the bar on the audience, we're now including skills that might be for somebody who has a couple years of experience as opposed to a year of experience. So that's one way, is some of the skills are actually more difficult. Another way is that makes them feel more challenging is that we've inc included a lot of different item types than we haven't had in the past. Uh, you may have taken exams in, in the last couple of years where the majority of the exam was multiple choice. And going forward, you're going to see more like half of it is going to be something other than your standard choose one multiple choice item. So we have different types of multiple choice that we've added, like um, uh, something called extended matching, where you're going to have a set of questions, uh, maybe 10 or, or five or ten questions that all have the same answer, same ten or twelve answers, and they'll be presented in a group together, so you'll, you'll kind of get to know what the order of the answers are, because you're going to have read them, read them before. And the only thing that changes in those, that set of questions is what the question is. So it makes it more difficult for people who are trying to memorize exam content and then regurgitate it during the exam in, in a question type like that, which also makes those exams feel more rigorous, because you know people are not able to cheat. Um, it makes you kind of think through the item in a different way and it feels different than your standard multiple choice question because so it makes it kind of more of an interesting experience than it might otherwise. Another new item type that we're using is called best answer where we say uh, here's a scenario and these are typically used on our more advanced uh, exams for our expert level certifications and it, 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 you, it requires you to show your experience judgment of a particular situation and what's going to be the best choice. And in some cases, it might be the most efficient. Are you going to go around and apply a patch to every computer in your enterprise, or are you going to do it a different way? You could do it that way. It would just take you forever. So these are the kinds of things where we involve a lot of subject matter experts to help us determine what is really the best answer and that kind of consensus. Um, is required in order for us to use one of those items. So a lot goes into choosing what that really is the best answer, and we have uh, a lot of data to support that it really is the best answer. Uh, another new item type that you might not have seen before is choose all that apply. We did have these a long time ago, and uh, these are more challenging because, again, we don't tell you exactly how many you have to choose. So you really have to know your stuff and you gotta be able to, you can't guess at these because if you guess you're gonna get it wrong. Um, again, that's another way that we're adding rigor to our exams. Uh, some other item types, one that's brand new that we're just presenting here at TechEd for the very first time is a short answer code item type where you are presented with a, a set of tables and a scenario of what information you are required to return from a set of tables or a SQL Server database. And you actually have to write the T-SQL code that is going to return that specific set of data. Um, now, some, a lot of people get concerned about that because they say, how oh, are you going to score it? We put a lot of effort into, and a lot of subject matter experts, into helping us develop a complete list of all the possible right answers 
so that when you type that in, you can feel confident that if you're putting in the right answer, it's gonna be in our answer key. Another thing that's really neat about this one that makes it feel more real world and more relevant is that you're able to actually uh, use the SQL Server syntax checker during the, while you're writing the, uh, the answer to um, check in sort of a, uh, like a uh, IntelliSense, um, mimicking IntelliSense, it's not full IntelliSense, but it's pretty cool. Um, it'll give you an idea of which lines you might have errors in so that you can go back and look at those and uh, make sure that you wrote it correctly and have a chance to correct it before you move on to the next question. Some of the other ones that we've had before but you'll see more often than you might have are build list where you have a list of answer choices on one side and then you have to move them to the other side and put them in the right order. So um, a situation where you have a series of steps you have to complete, for example. Drag and drop, which might be um, you have to uh, move uh, systems into a particular configuration on one side. Something like uh, what we call hot areas, another item type where you would be required to look at an image, um, a screenshot, so to speak, of uh, some part of the UI and you have to click on a particular part of it in order to answer a question like which server should you, you know, reconfigure or whatever and you have to choose it based on the UI that's, on, um, that's presented to you. So we are uh, incorporating a lot more of these different types of items that make it feel more challenging and more meaningful uh, to you. And we're really excited about your reaction to this, so we'd love to hear from you. If you're interested in seeing a little bit what these exam items look like, we have uh, videos, demos on our website that you can take a look at that uh, describe and show you all the different item types that, that I've just talked about. So I encourage you to have a look at those before you go take your next exam. Thanks.